everyone, I'm Sarah Perez and this is your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. With everyone concerned about what's to come with COVID-19, different people have mixed feelings about reopening the town. Here's what I found. On Tuesday, May 5th, residents of the Santa Clarita Valley gathered to protest reopening the city. One resident said she's protesting because of the financial distress the virus has caused. There's so many people that are really hurting financially, emotionally. Although, not everyone kept their calm. Some people drove by and showed their disagreement with the protesters. One car particularly got into an argument with a number of them. Mayor Cameron Smythe made an appearance and compared other towns to Santa Clarita when it came to setting city standards. Long Beach, Pasadena and the city of LA have their own health department. He closed with explaining that the actions we've taken as a city have provided stabilization of our positive tests and a decrease in hospitalization. A decline in hospitalizations, our ability to, to handle capacity uh, and then to, to allow us the ability to make some decisions for us locally. With Canyons News, I'm Sarah Perez. In other news, Canyons News reporter Jesse Abarcus tells us what to do with our gloves and masks when we're finished using them. For a lot of us during these times, our favorite part of the day is coming outside for a little bit. The coronavirus has mostly everyone wearing masks and gloves at almost all times. Though some local residents such as Monica Garcia have spotted that these articles aren't being disposed of properly. I noticed that now it's like N95 masks that are on the floor, not gloves, it's always masks, but that's really it. it there's at least one on my walls, but there's never more than five. Garcia has some advice for those who can't seem to find a waste bin in these health conscious times. Can you be a little more responsible right now because that mask has all your germs on it? No one wants your germs, especially right now. With Canyons News, I'm Jesse Abarquez. Stay clean and stay healthy, Santa Clarita. For those of you looking to vote, Canyons News reporter Veronica Secchi gives us an insight on what that looks like at the COC campus. The College of the Canyons Valencia campus will be hosting a mobile voting center for voters in the 25th Congressional District special elections from May 2nd to May 12th. Registered voters in the 25th district have received their vote-by-mail ballots, but in an effort to accommodate residents who prefer to cast their votes in person, the County of Los Angeles' Registrar's Office are providing mobile voting centers across the county. Residents will be able to drive up and drop off their ballots with ease, a system created to abide by the CDC's current social distancing and health guidelines. The centers will be available for residents to drop off their ballots from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. May 2nd through the 11th and 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Election Day, May 12th. For Canyons News, I'm Veronica Secchi. Thanks for tuning in. For more news, visit our website at canyonsnews.com. With Canyons News, I'm Sarah Perez.